Hey, this is Sherry here from SincerelyJean.com, and today I'm going to be walking you through the exact steps on how to start your own website. I'm going to walk you through how to sign up with Bluehost to host your website, and then I'm going to show you how to install WordPress and um, so you can start building your website through WordPress. All right, and this is only going to take about five minutes, so let's get started. So the first step is deciding who is going to host your website. We use Bluehost and we really like them. We highly recommend them to anyone that asks us on how to start a blog. And um, they are very affordable and they have great customer service. You can call them 24 seven for support. So this is the blog post that I wrote on how to start a blog. I'll include the link to this post at the bottom of this video. You can scroll down and click on any of these Bluehost links. I'll take you straight to Bluehost to get started and then click this get started now button. And then it's going to take you to their packages. This basic plan is completely fine for people just getting started. So let's go ahead and so click select. And then you're going to type in your domain that you want. Click next. And by clicking by using our link, you'll get a free domain name. All right, so it tells you it's available. And then you're going to go through and put in your personal information, your name, business, your address, your email address, and then you're going to select your package. Obviously, the longer you have it, the cheaper it's going to be. Um, so that's really up to you. If you're just going to give it a try, maybe you just want to go with the 12 month. If you know for sure you're going to start this blog and do it for a long time, you should go with the 36 month. One thing that I do recommend is that if you are pretty sure that you want to do this, I would go with the 36 month because at the beginning we only went with the 12 month and now we actually have to renew every 12 months. And with this package, you are locked into that price for, for three years. And um, after your beginning membership price, so after the three years, it goes up. So, all right. And then right here domain privacy protection i highly recommend getting this it'll protect your personal information from marketers or anyone like that trying to get your phone number or email these other ones you those aren't necessary so go ahead and unclick those so once you fill this out completely go in ahead and enter your payment information and then you're going to read you need to read the terms and services um, all these policies make sure you fully understand those and then click confirm and then you're going to click submit Okay, after you click submit, it'll take you to this congratulations page and then it'll give you a couple offers, but you just gotta scroll down and click no thanks if you don't wanna look into the offers. And then it should take you to another welcome page, welcome to Bluehost. Um, and then you're gonna create a password. And click on create your password. All right, so um, go ahead and type in the password. It should be, obviously it should be something that's very secure. Uh, make sure you follow what they recommend. Go ahead and click I have read and agree to the Bluehost after you read the privacy in terms of service. Click next. And awesome. Congratulations. You successfully created a new password. So now it's time to log in. Go ahead and click the login button. Okay, go ahead and click on WordPress tools right up here in the upper left hand corner. Okay, so now that you have your hosting set up, we're going to go ahead and install WordPress on your website. So WordPress is going to allow you to start designing and building your website. So go ahead and click the domain that you want to install WordPress on your site title. This is obviously probably going to be the same as your domain, but don't worry too much about this. You can always change it when you get back into your WordPress admin later. Go ahead and select your admin username, admin password, and then admin email. This is a separate login than Bluehost. The first password we just created, that was for your Bluehost login. This is going to be for your WordPress login to log into the back of your website admin. When you're done with that, go ahead and click in this button, install WordPress. Okay, after you clicked the install WordPress button, it should have this little pop-up, successful install. And then to view your new installation property in WordPress tools, this page needs to be refreshed. So go ahead and click refresh now.
Okay, now it's going to take you to this users page and then um, it shows you the admin that you just set up and then go ahead and click log in. Okay, that's it. You are done. Congratulations. You now have your own blog. Okay, one last thing that is very important is that you're going to get a who is verification email and you need to click this link right here in order to complete that verification process.